Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in a couple of my prior videos, we took a look at this full-sized artisan proponent folding knife to see if it would be a good candidate for some good quality hard use. Now if you're interested in seeing the setup for this video, take a look back at a couple of my prior videos for the details. Now at this point today, we are going to continue moving forward with this what was that? What the? Hold on. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <sighs> Things keep going from horribly bad to horribly worse very quickly here there was a massive explosion my neighbor's house is completely destroyed it's like leveled there's debris everywhere I couldn't get my truck out and I've been on the move for a little over an hour now they sent in a search and rescue team and evacuated the area they said I had two minutes to get my stuff and get out of there. Unfortunately, I, I grabbed just as much as I could and it's barely enough. And it's starting to rain on me. A muster area was set up for recovery and triage at the high school, but I don't know, there must be like a thousand people there. And I just... I can't stay there. So I'm probably about a mile outside of town now. And I'm trying to get myself to a place where I know I can stay for a little while and figure things out. But I don't know. I just have to figure out a plan. This is pretty f***ed up. Nobody seems to really know exactly what's going on. I mean, there's been reports of at least two or three explosions from what I can tell, but I didn't stick around long enough. I just, I just knew I had to get someplace where nobody would bother me while I figure this out and this is the most safe place I know that I can get to quickly. I was gonna try to bug out completely and get out of here, but as soon as I tried calling for help, the lines were dead. They're either dead or there's so many people on the network that I can't get through. My wife and kids are out with my parents out of town and at least I know they're safe right now. So I really only need to worry about myself. But the messed up thing is, I don't even know if my neighbors were in their house. The rescue team's looking for them or at least any signs of people. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. So now, my goal is to stabilize my situation. Oh, there's a lot of things that are certainly uncertain at this point. But there's a few things I know I have resources. I have water. Oh, this is gonna be my shelter in my home for a little bit. I'm about an hour, a little less, um, outside of the town area. Um, I'd say maybe 35 minutes is probably half a, I don't know, maybe a mile, uh, half an hour or so. Oh, so at this point, I just, I gotta get a shelter set up for tonight. Um, I have my sort of most trusted stuff with me and I know it'll keep me safe. This rain is supposed to s turn to snow in a little bit so I don't have too much time to work and I gotta get a fire established so I gotta get to work. Now I've been here before which is part of the reason why I predetermined that this would be the place I'd come if I needed to. So uh, you'll see I already have a fire pit. What I'm hoping I can do is set up a shelter area that's like close enough to the fire that I get some of the benefit and the warmth. What I'm thinking is 
I could set up in here and get my tarp strung out and at least start to get dry. And that just means I gotta do a little bit of clearing and get some stuff out of the way. This isn't perfect. It's not a great location for me um, in terms of my setup, but there's not a ton I can do. I just had kind of a freak out moment where I thought I didn't have my knife. I mess around with my knives all the time and I took my fixed blade out of my bug out bag. But the good news is I managed to bring the proponent so I at least have something that I can use for clearing out this area and hopefully processing some wood for my fire. So I'm gonna use this and hope for the best. I was planning on shooting this review and I didn't have a good place to put this pin, but I have it in my wallet. So I am oh, gonna install this at this point. I just have to take a minute and catch my breath. I'm starting to get a little bit lightheaded after all this. It's like adrenaline and <laughs> just all this activity getting in here. So, oh, oh, this thing could save my ass right now. I'm gonna clear out this place and get to work, get my shelter started. I'm getting soaked, I need that fire to dry out tonight. I gotta be careful. Oh, I just chopped right through my lanyard. Oh, this is killing my hands. Oh, but I brought some gloves. Oh. way baby just get out of my way there you go awesome oh come on I got it I got it yeah all right oh I kind of need a sheath for this while well, it's in that fixed position oh all right, so at least now I have uh, the start of a shelter. This is at least gonna keep me dry while I figure things out. So I have to gather some firewood and I know I need standing dead. I mean, at this point, it's part way through the winter. There's been snow on the ground. The stuff on the ground is gonna be too wet to burn. Now, at least in my bug out bag, I do have some good fire starting uh, tinder and supplies. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna go on a little mission here. Try to find myself some nice branches standing dead and uh, start processing down some firewood so I can at least get this going and hopefully keep myself warm tonight. And the good thing is, at least in my bug out bag, I had some. What was that? This is not good. There's something serious going on here. And I am starting to get freaked the frig out. Oh man. I don't know. I just gotta stay the course here. Oh man, I don't know. I gotta get some dry stuff here or I'm in trouble. Uh, inside here, it's a little punky, but I don't know. Hopefully this will work. Uh, this is at least covered up here. 
I think this should give me something to burn. There's some flaky stuff in here. Yeah, I mean, at least in here, it has some hard stuff. It's not all completely rotten. I kind of need another tool, maybe some sort of a baton. I gotta split down through some of this. I gotta carve myself at least some level of a baton. I found this piece of maple, which I think hopefully will at least be suitable for this. It's just too thick. <coughs> and uh, I just gotta carve it down a little bit. Oh, but, oh, I don't know, man. Oh, I should be saving these shavings. Oh, every little bit of energy counts. So, oh, the inside of this is dry. Oh, so as I carve this down, oh, I at least should save these pieces. I'll get the outside bark away from here. Oh, so, I don't get the wet stuff in my pile. But this inner stuff will burn pretty good and at least start to give me a little bit of kindling and tinder to, to start this fire. It's gonna get late pretty soon and I don't know, at this point I have no idea what's in store, so. Oh man, oh, what a nightmare. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, uh, so, I mean, oh, the good thing is, oh, the knife is totally saving my ass right now. Oh, I mean, it's carving this down nice. Oh, giving me the ability to at least have a little bit of a handle here uh, without wrecking my hands. Oh, all right, so, oh, this is good. Oh, now at least I can split some stuff down. Oh, I gotta get moving. Oh, nice. Oh, this stuff is gonna save me. Good stuff. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't break this knife because oh, this is the only thing that's going to keep me safe. dry stuff. Oh, I found a couple nice branches that were actually hung up in other trees and this looks pretty dead to me. Oh, at least I hope it is. We'll see. I just gotta oh, make a couple notches in this and I should be able to split it oh, pretty, pretty easily. Oh yeah, that goes right through. Bam. Oh baby, come on, one more. There it is. Nice. 
All right, oh, a few more of these and I'll be in good shape. Oh, broke my baton. There it is. nice ah oh, thank god you know you practice shit hit the fan situations but you never think you're really gonna be in one and uh oh, look at him shaking oh oh at least talking about it and preparing has paid off This is nice wood in here. Oh man. Oh, listen to that crack. That's such a good sound. Oh, at least this knife is oh, doing a nice job splitting. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, I'm wailing on that tip too. And uh, oh, it's holding up. I gotta tell you, I was nervous about beating on that tip, but. Oh, so far so good. Oh, so far so good. Oh, at least there's one thing going my way today. Oh, nice. Oh, whew. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, I brought my water filter. Oh, and my bug out bag, just in case I knew if I hit a shit hit the fan situation, oh, I might need it. And I got plenty of water here at this pond. So, oh, I'm just gonna get myself a quick drink. It's starting to get a little bit colder now as the um, temperature continues to drop. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into sleet or snow anytime soon, but it's hard to say. I think I'm gonna actually oh, boil this up. I don't have any coffee with me, but I think having some warm water is gonna help me in the long run as things cool down. So oh, I'm just gonna set up my stove real quick. Just heat up some water. And, I mean, I'm, I'm warm and I'm getting a little bit of a sweat on while I'm working here, but I don't know. I still think it's the right thing to do. Of course, I forgot my lighter. Oh, so hell if I know if this is gonna work, but oh my God, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'm losing daylight quick, so. Oh. After this, I have to get this fire going. Oh. And I gotta start thinking about how I'm gonna get some food, because I'm not gonna last long out here. I mean, at least I have water, 
I got a little while without food, but again, I have no idea. Oh, what's gonna go down? And I just don't want to chance it. Oh, so if I can just get this fire established, oh, I'll be in such good shape. So at this point, I kind of got to, I don't know, just build this up enough that I can get a little tinder bundle in here and get this thing started. And then I'll go gather more wood. But, oh, I just need to like process this stuff down just a little bit more. Oh, let me get some curls here and some nice fine kindling. I know that this is just going to help me. Oh, the sort of more patience I have. Actually, I got this stuff too, which at this point I'm just going to kind of crumble up a little bit and just sort of seed it in here to make me a nice little nest. Oh. There's some good dry stuff in here that'll help catch and there's still some air and uh, yeah let me get some curls just stay uh, I just need myself like a decent little feather stick just enough to like oh just catch and this stuff in here is nice and dry oh, and at least Oh, this knife is getting under some real fine little slices there, so that's good. Oh, it's working good. It feels nice with the gloves on. My hands don't hurt. If I did this bare hand, after all this work, my hand would be just destroyed, but I actually feel pretty good with the gloves. Oh, this is awesome. Thank goodness. Oh, come on. Oh, that's hopefully going to do it for me. So just take that carefully and grab all these little curls and get them right up on there. All right, I am close now. I also have some real nice pieces of fat wood that I brought in my kit. And I think at this point, this might sort of help save me. So oh, it's just kind of chipping off here. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna lose it. But maybe if I just dig off some pieces here and just kind of lay them in the top of the fire that'll help it's really hard and uh, full of resin um, but you can see there's a ton of pitch in there and this should go up pretty good so I'm just gonna trim myself off some here and uh, get it in my little tinder bundle and uh, Hopefully that's going to help me get this thing started. Uh, not too much difficulty. Uh, again, I don't have a lighter, so I'm relying on my ferro rod uh, to do this. So, I don't know, man. Uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, this section of the knife right here, if I'm careful, can definitely do some scraping without wrecking on the blade. So I'm just gonna fluff some of this up oh, real nice. Oh, and that should also help me. Oh, look at that. If I'm careful, I can collect all this fluff and that's gonna be a real nice starter. Oh, careful to collect all this here and keep it dry. I have these pucks that somebody sent me. Oh man, I don't know if, what the right thing to do is. Obviously get the paper out. I don't know if I need to break these or what, but I feel like if, uh, if I break these into some pieces and fluff them out, oh, that should also help me. I'm gonna try to keep this fire small. Oh, I hope I don't melt my tarp. I don't have a choice. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. I think the fat wood is my best opportunity. This fat wood 
has to catch. Oh, it has to. Oh, I'm getting scared. Oh, come on. Oh, baby, come on. Come on. Oh, careful. Don't smother it. Come on. Oh. Oh, such a letdown. All right. Well, at least I know I'm getting close. All right, more fat wood. Oh, nice pile of this stuff. Yep. Come on. Oh, it sucks working out here. If I just make a real nice little pile of this stuff now, it's gonna be worth a couple of minutes just to set myself up and give something to catch. Oh, everything is just so wet. Here is a little char cloth I had in my kit too. This should help. Oh, I'll just use a big ass piece. Yeah, okay. Just oh, I'm throwing everything at it. Throwing everything at it. I have one tinder quick. If I work fast enough and I fluff this out, this tinder quick just might catch. That char cloth is still on fire. Now I do have more but I would love this to go. Alright. Alright now. Come on you. Come on you little thing. Come on you. Whoop. Alright. Alright. All right now, woo! Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, so I'm not completely out of the woods yet. I still have to make sure I can tend to this fire and get it to continue to burn. Uh, but at least at this point, oh, I've managed to get myself a fire started and I'm in much much better shape oh all right ah so now that I got my fire going oh, I need to think about gathering up some more firewood oh, and then getting back towards town to find myself some food so at this point I think what I'm gonna do is